Here we are uh, in Wyoming. We're just going through a mountain tunnel uh, alongside a dam. Second one as we go around here. The dam is down below us, actually. Here we are on uh, Mike and Mandy's ranch in Buffalo, Wyoming. Kind of a miserable day, but Mandy's been very accommodating. We're gonna go catch uh, catch the horses and uh, take them to the uh, ring to go riding. So here we are going up into the hills. See our cows up there. Alice thought we were catching cows, but no, we're gonna go over the hill here and catch some horses. Come on, Gus. We're gonna put you in the movie. You can be famous too. <laughs> Found the horses way across the way there. So now we have to go after them. <laughs> Hello friends. You got a friend? Yeah. Snuggle up. <laughs> so we got two roped up, but it looks like uh, we're taking a few extras along. <laughs> Hey Alice, you got a buddy? That's Lizzie, right? It's okay. We're just following the horse trail here, back to the, the house, back to the corral. Alice is brushing down on this side with Mandy. Hey, peek! <laughs> okay, just careful walking behind it. Two to go. <laughs> Got the horses all saddled up now, so we're gonna take them into the ring here. It was a really miserable day, so uh, we took the, the horses to a neighbor's indoor ring, and so that was a real treat. We got to kind of stay dry and warm, and uh, just had a really fun time riding the horses. Got a whole horse train going on here again. Okay, get her going, Alice. by yourself. Nice work. Make a cowgirl out of you yet. Oh, this is Blaze, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lucy, you got it figured out there. Nicely done. There's our cowgirls. All ready to ride. <laughs> You guys are racing now? What's going on? <laughs> Faster, Mom! Um, what was nice about their place was they had horses and also dogs. Yeah. Lots of dogs. Eleven dogs. Are you going out too, Gus? Woo! <laughs> Mike and Mandy have a number of dogs, so it uh, keeps everyone happy here. Dogs are happy to have a friend. Alice is happy to have a friend. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> That's a big bin of food there, Lainey. Is it all for you? <laughs> Where do you go? Very end. Oh, Gus. Are you Josie's new best friend? Hello. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll get to you. Oh, Gus is doing laps here. We're getting to you guys. Okay. Who's next? One scoop. Can I do it? The butter and then the egg. Are you guys making dinner? No. no. We're making sugar cookies. Oh, my favorite. What do you got in the bowl there? 
eggs. Oh. And butter. And what's in here? Oh. Is that where the sugar is? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Making, Making cookies. cookies. Ooh, decorating. Oh. Colors have you got? Hello? Lots of colors. Did you orange. make your own colors? Yeah. We have orange, green, purple, and blue. Mm. How do you make green? Um, just with green. Paper. It was green. <laughs> uh, I have one more color. So I went to see Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse is the First Nations um, monument um, to the Native American history. It's actually a horse and rider uh, carved out at this side of a mountain. It's going to take a number of years for them to complete. They've done about 50 years already, um, but it's going to be another, probably another two to 500 years um, to uh, finish it going at this current rate. Once again, Mother Nature is uh, thwarting our traveling efforts. We're here at Mount Rushmore. Um, miserable morning. The mountain is covered in fog. A lot of the park is closed down due to uh, construction. So this might be the best that we get today. It was really cool, but at the beginning you couldn't see any of the faces. There was George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. But not in that order. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, but it was, it was good because uh, we got to see them, the clouds lifted, and because it was such a rotten day, there, there were no crowds, so it was wonderful. And from there we drove south, through, back through Wyoming, into Colorado, um, beautiful mountains in Colorado, drove through Vale and Breckenridge and seen that area in the, now in the summertime, need to come back in the winter. Do some skiing. Um, and then into Utah. We've made it to Arches National Park in Utah. I'm uh, going to go out and do some exploring and hiking today. This area is known for the, the sandstone arches that uh, you can get up close to and even walk through. We made it to Arches National Park and we found our first arch. We saw balanced rock on the way in. That was pretty spectacular to see a great big mammoth boulder suspended on top of a pillar. Um, wondering what, what time it's gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just due any day. The, the landform regions in, in Utah are just phenomenal. I guess the gist of it is that uh, millions of years ago there was a lot of uh, oceans that dried up and then filled up again, dried up, creating um, lots of salt layers. And then over the years all the sediment formed and that sort of thing. So uh, now water is getting into this, this dirt and melting it away, uh, creating really cool landforms and of course the arches that uh, the area is known for. So Alice, why do they call this a pine tree arch? I don't know. Well, what's in front of you? Oh, a pine tree. There's pine trees in it. <laughs> this here is tunnel arch. This arch behind us is called landscape arch and in 1991, over 180 tons of rock fell. I really enjoyed Landscape Arch, just because and it was so wide, but also thin. I'm still not entirely sure how it is still stand. We climbed up to the top of the mountain and I found myself my very own egg chair. I really like Navajo Arch. And what was special about it? Um, that it was an arch, but it's like there was another rock behind it. It was almost like a little arch with a cave. Yeah. And of course the kids are climbing up the side of the wall. Why are you, so why are you guys climbing the wall? You gotta get high enough, so that way if it's not fucking on ground. Oh, so I'm going to? Slot Canyon. We just climbed up a little canyon slot and I'm up on a rock and there's 
lots of cool views. What's this one called, Alice? Partition Arch. Why is it called Partition Arch? Because there's two of them. What are we doing, girls? Where are we? Here, right beside me, is Turret Arch. And if you look how tall it is, it's probably 45 of me because I'm short. So it's probably 45 of me all the way up to the top. This is North and South Arch. And if you look, it looks like two eyes and a nose. A smashed up face. <laughs>